Hey. Hello everyone, this is Joe Chester from Blockface Builders, and today we are here to look at a building that Nancy Drew fans will probably recognize. So, I'm just going to set myself down and open up my inventory. This is Thornton Hall, and I don't have all the trees in, and I don't have the gate, but there were some sacrifices that had to be made for building this on a normal world. And... For those of you who know Nancy Drew, uh, the ghost to Thornton Hall, here is the ruins that Charlotte knocks you out in. <laughs> well, not knocks you out. You just pass out because you see her face. Like the Phantom of the Opera. Like me. <laughs> oh. Oh, well. But these are the ruins over here. They're not done at all. Um... They had to be put across the river because, you know, there's just not enough room in this area to build the gate or the graveyard. I'm actually going to put probably a small Thornton family graveyard right in this little plot here. But I just wanted to show off the house right now because that is the main part of Thornton Hall. And a lot of changes had to be made because the Thornton Hall from the game is not a feasible house. <laughs> like the fact that there is no dining room in the game. But you have the swing. You don't have Charlotte's bedroom either. I took that out. Um, but when you come into Thornton Hall in Nancy Drew, and I'll probably have a picture on the screen to show, uh, you're immediately faced with the staircase on this side, with no door here, and a double door, I believe, on this side, leading into a small room that, uh, what's her name's mother is always standing in. There's a painting on this wall, and pff, we all know what's special about that painting. Uh, and there's no kitchen, but I decided that this would probably be the most likely dining room, so I turned that into the dining room, took out the fireplace too. Um, indoor fireplace is probably not a good idea. Uh, then this is the um, this is the extra room, and I'm using it as kind of a ballroom. So that I can host, I don't know. But, I mean, a house from that period would probably have some party room or something. This is just a closet. I like adding these to staircases because they make them look cooler. Now, if you remember from the game, you walk here and you walk past the staircase. There's a door here and a little thing I'm going to build right now, right against this wall. And I'll just build it out of nether brick. So... There's this thing with a portrait above it right here. So I'll just put the, this. Um, I don't like, I didn't want to have to do that, this in this video. Uh, there we go. A portrait of a dunce. I don't know. I think that's a dunce cap. But there is no this door. This door does not exist and neither does this door. Again, this feeds into the feasible house thing. This is an unfinished bathroom that I still am working on. Uh, and this is the um, lower... S this is the guest bedroom, complete with guest other bathroom. There's only two of them. Uh, this is that weird room that you find Harper back here in. But we can't go there or else my Iron Hoe of Death, that doesn't really exist, will chop... <laughs> will fall on us and kill us. So, it's mostly because I haven't furnished down there either. Um, out here we've got a wraparound porch because, I mean, uh, what's her name? Clara references the Widow's Walk. This would be like, I believe this is the Widow's Walk. Um, it's also in the uh, Goes to Thornton Hall. The upper floor had to be redone because one, one of the, build one of the rooms in it, there was this big circular room, isn't possible with the structure of the building unless for some reason the back one of the back corners was circular but if you were looking at the mansion head on from really any distance away you would see the circular thing coming out from that side or that side i think it's that side so the upper floor was partially unfeasible as a real architectural structure it was also not really possible because, guess what? Only one door on the upper floor doesn't work. It's because everything else was torn.
torn to shreds. Too bad, but yeah. I should have put Charlotte's bedroom in, though. I really should have. Uh, this is the master bedroom with my awesome head thing, head stand. I spend a lot of time on building ornate things. <laughs> Might be a little overly ornate. Um, so in here is just another room. And actually below some of these carpets is stone from that little uh, place down there. And it was weird to build the beds above glowstone. Like that one's above glowstone. So I had to take out the glowstone, put something in there, build the bed, take out the block under it, put a glowstone. It's weird. <laughs> but these are just little, um, little rooms in there. And that's the ghost of Thornton Hall. Look, it's the ghost of Thornton Hall. She's coming towards us. I'm... I'm leaving. I'm leaving my mansion. I'm going across. She's here. She's inside my mind. Phantom of the Opera references. Okay, well, I'm getting away from that house. Uh... Yes, that was scripted. I can foresee questions about that. And yes, it was scripted. <laughs> One other thing I want to show is this um, JG Garden Cafe. That Oh, if you're wondering what that the whole thing was, it was partially a test run for some of my later work that I'm going to be doing involving green screens and stuff. And so this is the... Uh, this is the JG Car Garden Cafe, and back there is the kitchen with the private tour that you have to pay money to get into. So I'm not going to show that off, or else I would negate the point of charging for the tour. But you can come here, and you can get all sorts of different garden supplies, as long as you like sugarcane and wheat. You can also get cooked beef. We're still working on our menu, okay? But at least the building's intact. I'm not good at, like finishing stuff just building part of it this i am deciding but most likely i'm gonna take it away i'm gonna parcel out the land that was in it and take away the actual building and then sell the land to other people because you know that's a good idea maybe i'll build build some uh, homes or shop fronts over there yeah that sounds nice but this was this was actually a fun thing to build for me, and that's because I really liked the actual Thornton Hall. So, yeah. Well, I've got a bit of work to do, so I'm gonna cut this one, this video here. Uh, but see everyone next time, and I think next video is gonna be an information video. Thank you. Bye.